Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Your time. Welcome to News and Details TV. Welcome, our new members, to the old ones. We love you guys. They're so supporting us. May the Lord support in everything. You lay your hands. Amen. To the news and details, guys. Sorry for have not been able to bring us updates, but this one is today. The judgment was being delivered, and let us take it the way it is. And the news reads: Peter will be failed to prove how he scored majority votes in the election tribunal. The presidential election petition court has held that the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, Peter, will be failed to specify how they scored the majority of lawful votes in the February 25th presidential election. In the lead judgment, read by Justice Ababelo Mohammed, the tribunal held that Labour Party made generic allegations of irregularities, suspension of votes and corrupt practices to rob them of their votes, especially in River, Benue, Lagos, Taraba, Imo and Oshu State, but failed to specify the polling units after affected or prove concrete evidence to back their claims. The court said, that although Peter Obi and Labour Party claim to have scored the majority of lawful vote cast, they failed to state the number of lawful votes they scored. The determination of election is about figures, the court held. Justice Mohammed further held that Labour Party also failed to prove the allegations of overvoting against all the Progress Congress, APC, and their actual reduced votes. Guys, this was the judgment that was passed today and um, a lot of people are amazed. A lot of people are saying, well, this is what we feared. Let us quickly take some reactions from some Nigerians who don't even put their mind for all this judgment. They have already collected backhand. Somebody says, for the slightest reasoning challenged, I came toward can only win an election if can prove he scored more votes than I came first. Your Messiah failed woefully, somebody said. I have said it. It's all about noise and efforts and fatality. Please note that Nigeria court, no be father Christmas. You have to prove your case to get justice. God bless Nigeria, somebody says. Social media is not real life. Don't be fooled. Peter Obi needed more consultations to win. An election in Nigeria, not what we are being showed. You can't successfully make any progress without the northerners on your side. Somebody says, it is worrisome how most of you can't even read or comprehend simple submissions. Court cases aren't about emotions and neither are they surrounded by feelings, but facts, figures and pieces of providable evidence. He wasn't specific. His team couldn't state the actual figure and the state they won exactly and you want the court to give you victory, it's not done. Many of you need to read that judgment again. Very simple. Mekona tell us how how every vote in the East goes to Obi. You think you are wise, Abi? On a done don't collect blue now after this judgment some of you will go back to your ipob business somebody says from bottom to top ob is loading as president of anambra state somebody says another person says nigerians already know the outcome so we are not surprised you can't just find justice in a place where criminals make law this person said it right Honestly speaking, and that person says, well, it has already been decided a month ago. They already know who they want to be there. Look, somebody that has already tested power and you want him to come down. You have something else coming. Obi is still coming. Take it or leave it. We know who the winner is, somebody said. Guys, <laughs> listen, everybody saw what played out. Just like somebody mentioned in the comment section that court does not deal with emotions but court deals with facts and figures that will be failed to provide the exact the exact this is what they are saying that he failed to prove his case you know but the question remains we saw everything that played out even a blind man could see 
But now, the judiciary that a lot of people are putting their hope in has given their verdict because if they're saying that he failed to prove the case, uh, you, you don't need anybody to tell you that Jagaban is the president of Nigeria. Uh, you're not going to hear it from news in details TV. It's already there. It's everywhere that he it remains the president. Although they are saying that he was not seen in court because people said, oh, that he, he threatened, uh, if you people don't read it um, for him, that as we wrote, that he was not seen in court. So why are they saying that he bribed his wealth through? Ah, we know how the judiciary plays out. But the question remains, how is it that Obi failed to prove that he won those places that I just mentioned. How? Guys, what are your thoughts in this? Let me know. Please like, share. Let me see us again. News in Details TV.